everybody pretty much knows everyone in Savona. It's a very small, close-knit, rural community. Neighbors watched in disbelief as their quiet street was turned into a crime scene. Derek Roby was beaten to death. Autopsy reports show he died from blows to the head. State and local investigators have no suspects. Wow, it's terrible murder like this. Everyone was saying, you know, let's go find the drifter, whoever this adult is. And then, boom, you see this little freckle-faced, red-haired kid with glasses. Thirteen-year-old Eric Smith was arraigned in village court this morning. It was unbelievable. In the age of the defendant, obviously the, the age of the victim, and that lurking question, why? Eric M. Smith born on January 22, 1980, is incarcerated for the murder, sexual abuse, and mutilation of four-year-old Derek Roby, who was born on October 2, 1988, on August 2, 1993, in Steuben County, New York. According to court documents, Smith was a loner who is often tormented by bullies for his protruding, low-set ears, thick glasses, red hair, and freckles. The murder case made national headlines, largely due to the young ages of the killer, 13, and the victim, 4. Smith attracted Roby to a remote location in a park, where Smith strangled Roby, dropped a pair of large rocks on the boy's head, undressed his body, and then sodomized this little boy with a tree limb. The cause of death was determined to be blunt trauma to the head with contributing asphyxia. I just remember him always watching over me, wanting to make sure I didn't get in trouble and just, just always caring for me. Dalton Roby wasn't even two years old when his brother Derek was brutally murdered. But in the short time they had together, he knows his big brother was always there for him. A little boy full of energy, Derek loved animals and playing practical jokes. Derek's blowing bubbles on the porch. I never thought that he could do that. I was with him every day all day. And that one day that everything happened, I wasn't with him. He was known not to have any friends. He would be seen just riding his bike alone around Savona all the time by himself. He was bullied in school. Like we never wanted to ride the bus home because who's the next person they're gonna mess with him? What are they gonna do today? The one day that I do remember is one of the older kids took his book bag and just dumped all of his books and everything out of it and then t yelled at him and told him to pick it up. You're a mean looking dude, you know that? Two days after Roby's funeral, Eric admitted to Roby's killing. In 1994, Smith was convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to the maximum term then available for juvenile murderers, a minimum of nine years to life in prison. While in jail, Smith wrote an apology letter to Roby's family. He read it on public television and said, quote, I know my actions have caused a terrible loss in the Roby family, and for that I am truly sorry. I tried to think as much as possible about what Derek will never experience, his 16th birthday, Christmases, any time, owning his house, graduating, going to college, getting married, his first child. If I could go back in time, I would switch places with Derek and endure all the pain I've caused him. If it meant that he could go on living, I'd switch places, but I can't, end quote. At the end of this statement, Smith also states that he cannot bear the thought of walls, razor wire, and steel metal bars for the rest of his life. He was five times since 2002, most recently in 2010. He is next eligible for parole in April of 2012. If granted, 
Smith stated an intent to return to Savona. He was held in a juvenile facility for six years. In 2001, he was transferred to the Clinton Correctional Facility in Danamora, New York, a maximum security prison. As of April 9, 2010, he was still at Clinton Correctional Facility. But Eric Smith is now out on parole. And what I would say is, you better look out, because the world is watching you. To all of my viewers, thank you for watching. Interview with WENY TV. Data one is, I'm not the same person. There's not a day that goes by in some way, shape, or form that I'm like forced to remember what I did. I'm automatically thinking I killed Derek mm -hmm. and the pain that I caused Dale and Dorothy In 2010, the parole board turned him down again. But as the years went by, Clinical forensic psychologist Joni Johnston says he seemed to be changing. Passion from him for other people. So I'm seeing a little bit of hope from him. Years passed and the parole board didn't budge until October 2021 when his parole was granted. But Smith could not be released just yet. He still needed to find approved housing. Rick Smith, who gained national attention almost three decades ago for killing a four-year-old, has been set free.